Okay, quick video. Someone just messaged me on Instagram if I wanted to build bots and automation tools from scratch without any prior programming knowledge. How would I do it today? And yeah, let's get into it. But before that, as you can see, the setup's a bit different. Uh, if you've been here for a while, you know this is my OG setup. This is my room. I'm not in Bali or Thailand anymore, not at the beaches anymore. I'm back home. But yeah, no more yapping. I know you love to hear me speak, and I know that's like 80% of the reason you click on this video, not for the actual information. But yeah, I'm gonna give you the information right now. So if I wanted to uh, build automation tools and bots uh, right now, firstly, I would just abuse ChatGPT. ChatGPT is so good. If you just prompt it right, it is so good. And especially now, since it can write code and execute code as well, and it can also search the internet so it can get you articles from uh, uh, stack overflow and stuff and I would also use AI uh, programming tools like cursor you have to be using AI if you're not using AI every day whether you're doing programming or not you're, you're like a caveman you're living in the stone age so get use AI every day especially if you're doing programming use AI for that number two don't just learn how to write code for the sake of learning I see people just doing courses and courses and like on LinkedIn I have this certification and this and the worst of the worst is expecting to learn programming in your computer science degree. That is the biggest scam. You spend four years and it's so slow. Object-oriented programming and this theory and that theory and assembly code and all this bullshit. Just write the fucking code. You have to build something. Learn, figure out how to build that. Just build, learn the bare minimum. Build that just with whatever bare minimum you've learned test it iterate it trial error trial error fix the bugs and launch that's it you don't have to waste your time programming is, is not supposed to be so time consuming and i'll give you another story i know this is yeah okay but you'll listen to the story anyway my second year of uh, college took part in my first hackathon <coughs> 49 teams and we came second all right. And I built a machine learning algorithm for fake news detection back in 2020 or 2021 before chat GPT and all this stuff, machine learning algorithm for fake news detection. And I have never done, I've never seen one single lecture on machine learning. There's people posting on LinkedIn, machine learning certificate, machine learning, this 40 hours, Udemy, this, that bullshit. I have never done the M of machine learning and we came second. And you know, we could have come first, but that's another story. Basically, the guys who beat us, obviously, their code was a lot better. They were they did some blockchain stuff. Uh, this was a different thing. They did some blockchain stuff. They came first. They were firstly four years older than me. And they weren't even college students. They had an agency, a software agency. I literally lost to people as a second-year student. I came second to people who have a software agency and they had already built that software and sold it to a client and they just made some minute changes for the hackathon. But anyway, that's another story. But yeah, that's the approach you take. You decide what to build and then you learn the bare minimum to get that built. And another thing, do not expect there to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you're building something valuable, something that's going to make you money, it's probably never been built before or it's not easy to access. It's not it's like readily available and most developers can't do it. What separates the average from the great developers is your stress tolerance and how long can you keep going? I'm not saying you have to code for like hours and hours and hours, like days straight. It's just that there will be unlimited bugs. There will be problems that seem unsolvable. You just have to hammer through, hammer at your keyboard and solve them, figure something out. Some internet forums, do some like hardcore research, try. <coughs> ah, ah, no. Yeah, try a hundred different things and something is going to work. Just don't give up. Just keep going, keep going. It's a game of mental resilience and stress tolerance. And that's how you become a good developer. And of course, it is supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be easy. That's why you see the guys who are good make so much money and they don't have to work all the time. They don't work all the time. They just work a few hours a day, a week, and they can chill the rest. You know, if you are one of them, buy my lifestyle design course or program, whatever and improve the other areas of your life with your free time and so much money. But yeah, that's what you see with the good developers. That's what they do. And the skill 
is not in following a tutorial and building something. The skill is building something where there are no easy answers. That is the real skill. And yeah, so if I was, again, to summarize, if I was to start over, build bots and automation tools, I'd first decide what it is I want to build and try to get it built as fast as possible. Learn the bare minimum required to get it built. Abuse AI. Oh, there's some festivals back in Bombay, the Bombay noises. But uh, yeah, learn the bare minimum, get it built, get it built fast, launch, execute, did put it in your uh, portfolio, whatever, and move on to the next thing. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Again, if um, depends on when you're seeing this, if you want better results, I have to scream now, okay. But if you want better results, faster results, some links in the description, uh, especially if you're rich and successful. If you're not, there'll be something free. But it's just watch some other videos and some playlists or something. There will be value there. Or drop a comment if you have another struggle. And I will see you soon. You got this. I believe in you. And no signature sign off. Just look at this now. The ring light. Whoa.